You are unemployed, broke, houseless, and spouseless. And you have to survive by taking advantage of everything around you. This is the life of a sim attempting the Rags to Riches challenge. Now for those that don't know what Rags to Riches is, it's a challenge that dates back over a decade ago, where you have to make a sim and place them on basically an empty lot, use cheese to drain oh their no. remaining funds away, and try to keep them alive for as long as possible while also finding a way to become rich. Got that? Great. But first we need a sim. So I put a bunch of random names on a wheel and spun it as hard as I virtually could and... Perfect. Now I'd like for you all to meet Jim Jiminson. There he is in all of his glory. No, I saved you the trouble of having to watch me choose his outfits because that took me like well over an hour. But since we're doing Rags to Riches, I made him homeless. Because he's going to be homeless the moment we bring him into this world. <laughs> he looks so pissed, dude. I mean, shit, if I was homeless, I'll be pissed too. Anyways, for someone who's going to be out here surviving on the streets for a long time, we got to give him some traits that'll help him out, you know? And for these, I chose Regan. With this one, who always find the highest quality stuff in dumpsters. And that's going to be essential because he's probably going to be sleeping in some too. He's also a slob because come on, look at him. He's like the slobbiest guy I've ever seen. But this will also make it so he's not affected negatively by his dirty surroundings, which is very important because he's going to be around that a lot. And how could I leave out the best trade ever? Oh, kleptomaniac. This will essentially allow Jim to straight up break into people's houses and steal their shit for free. And an extra bit of cash is exactly what we want. Last but not least, we need to give Jim an aspiration. Nothing screams more Jim than fabulously wealthy. This man is going to be a future but billionaire. Just you wait. Now we've covered Jim as a person, but how did he even end up this way. You can't just become homeless out of nowhere. So let's dive deep into his origin story. There was once a boy named Jim Jiminson. He lived in a strangely familiar looking house with his mother, Jane Jiminson. It was a rainy night and Jim had prepared to stay up. Jim was busy playing computer games, which he has been addicted to since the day he was born. To further prove this point, his head turned square to resemble the blocks from the game he was playing. Little did he know, this would be the last day with his precious computer. For his mother in the other room had been trying to sleep for hours straight to no avail. She got up and angrily marched towards the living room, where she confronted Jim about the amount of noise he was producing. She expressed the headache she got because of the comically large amount of noise he was making. Furious, she sat down to relieve the pain and scolded Jim for his behavior. Jim got up to talk to his mother to see if he could get himself out of trouble, but it proved to be useless, as Jane knew his goal, and had already decided to kick Jim out of the house. She had been keeping up with his noise for years, and could no longer bear it, so she swiped his computer and forced him to leave. Jim grew his hair out on the spot. <laughs> Jim grew his hair out on the spot and made his way out of the door. He was very, very mad and eventually ran away to pursue a better future. Jane finally felt at peace and didn't even seem to notice Jim had ran away. This is the beginning of Jim Jiminson's adventure from rags to riches. So here we are in Evergreen Harbor, after Jim decided to run away from his house. And coincidentally, this is the only place in the entire game that actually has dumpsters for us to dive in, so that's gonna come out great. And really, what better place is there to live other than the center of the most polluted area in town? So yeah, let's just go ahead and live here. Gonna bulldoze a lot, obviously, because we know better than to live in a house. Although it looks more like something I'll build with Legos than an actual house. And there we are. There's Jim. And so it seems we're living on a literal block of dirt here, but that's okay, we can deal with that. First things first, we gotta get rid of all the leftover money that he's got left so let's open up the cheat menu real quick for the sole purpose of making him broke there we go terribly sorry buddy but we're gonna make you rich at least i hope let's take a quick look at this place and oh my goodness it is a hot mess i mean there's trash in every nook and cranny possible and even the locals seem to hate it here but their nightmares are our dreams because thanks to all of this trash we have access to this beautiful beautiful thing called dumpsters which we can use to dive for deals dive for meals and dive for ingredients but also napping so essentially it's just a big box of dreams and wonders that'll get us very far in our sims life but besides that we also have stuff to forage like this plant over here wild soy plant so this plant will produce soybeans and soy wax in the future which means we can harvest that and probably sell it we can also uproot it i'm not sure what that does let me check it out oh okay so i guess he just turns it into trash and then throws it away oh and 
<laughs> Alright, I guess he just <laughs> decides to take a nap in the dumpster already. Oh, alright, so thanks to, I guess, Jim throwing that away, we can already dive for deals and stuff. Which I'm gonna do right away. See if we can strike some gold here. Jim seems to be having a very fun time dumpster diving. And we got a plumbing upgrade part. We can't really sell it, so I guess it's just kind of useless for now. And, um, <laughs> I guess dumpster diving is a workout now because Jim decided that he loves fitness because of it. That's great. Good okay. for you, Jim. We're not done just yet, though. See if we get something good. And so the last part we got here is a common upgrade part. And I'm not exactly sure what we can do with it. We also can't sell this, so... Oh, I guess we're just leaving it there, then. Now, heading back home, there is this soy plant right here that is already fully grown. But there's no soy wax just yet, so we can't collect that. We can view them, though. Ooh, <laughs> does not look like Jim like that. <laughs> there's actually another dumpster over here on this lot. I'm just gonna go there right away. Hey, what's up? And here we are at the waterfront. This building is cool and all, but I am here for this beautiful dumpster that we can dive in. Hey, dude. Dude, that's my dumpster. Now, hold on. Hold on. I gotta yell at him. Sir, how dare you go through my dumpster? That is my dumpster and you need to leave. There, go away. <laughs> you tell him to f*** up. Let's see what we find. Alright, first of all, we found a Kitty Tunes radio. That's beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Look, buddy, I know that I stink, but you do not have to rub it in. <laughs> so sad. Why is he just standing and staring at me? Next up, we found some simoleons. Looks like this lady is over here to judge my dumpster diving. This is my dumpster, guys. You are not getting inside of my dumpster. We found a full wood jacket bike. Someone left their entire bike in the dumpster. We can totally use that bike now. There's a lot of people coming to check me out. I'm like a landmark of Evergreen Harbor. The trash man. We found a painting in here. This dumpster is just never ending, is it? A country charm sink. And it seems like that was it. Yeah, I knew it. This guy just wanted my dumpster for himself. Well, I got everything valuable that's inside of there. So good luck finding anything new. All right, let's enter build mode real quick. Because I want to see all this new stuff. We got a country charm sink. Pretty dirty, but we can probably clean that. We got a movie madness bench. And we also got this slatted perch. I'll keep it. We'll make a nice house out of this. We also got this beautiful painting that's worth so much cash. Oh my goodness. It is a pretty nice painting though. So I'm going to keep it instead of selling it. Oh, let's go ahead and just repair this real quick. There we go. All fixed. Now it's time to clean it all up. Would you look at that? Now, as for these, these are just completely unusable. They are so dirty. We have to replace them. We don't even have enough money to replace them. So we can actually dive for deals again. And oh my god, look. Jim is using the bike he found in the dumpster to get over there. Look at him. Let's see what we can get out of this dumpster real quick. We found the art frame EV. Okay, that's either a painting or a literal TV that we just found. If we found a TV, that is huge. I can't believe people are just dumping all this stuff away. Let's bike on home real quick. And all right, it is a painting. But could you really judge me for thinking it was a TV if it's called the art frame TV? Wait, hold on. It is a TV. Wait, this thing is worth 3,000 simoleons. Dude, we're getting rich fast. I gotta try this out. Oh, we do have to repair it though. Well, Jim, I hope you're ready to prepare this. Surely nothing can go wrong here, right? Surely Jim won't get electrocuted or die. This is the fridges of Komorebi County. It looks like it's, it looks like we're able to use it just fine. It looks pretty nice. We just have to go ahead and manually repair it and hopefully nothing goes wrong. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure Jim's got this. That's how you do it. Just smash that screwdriver all over the place and hope that it fixes it. Looks like it's going pretty all right. Oh. Oh dear. <gasps> well, <laughs> everything just happened so fast. He just got electrocuted. Holy sh**. It does look like he didn't fully repair it though. All right, take two. And wow, perfect. Never mind. <gasps> what? 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 No! 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 No way. This is not the end of his story. No, 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 no. No, wait, no. I didn't know it was that easy to die. Wait, wait, please, 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 no, <gasps> no. Thankfully though, Jim managed to fix this TV perfectly. Although we are still broke, we do still need some money. Now I just checked my stats and Jim really needs to go to the bathroom. Thankfully though, there is this old train station that's renovated as a bar. So we're gonna go visit that and hope for the best. <laughs> Here we are at the caboose. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Where's the bathroom? Upstairs it is. All right. Sorry guys. I gotta go through. Jim, please make it. Look at him. He's gotta go so bad. Don't forget to wash your hands. There we go. I also checked my inventory real quick and it seems that we can sell these robot salvage parts for 10 simoleons each. We can also sell these common upgrade parts for 30 each. Looks like Jim is getting pretty sleepy though. So he's just gonna take a nap in the dumpster real quick. I feel like while we wait, this is the best time to give you guys the obligatory YouTuber self pro. Whoa. This video took quite a while to make, so if you guys liked the video so far, dropping a like down below and maybe even subscribing would help out so much. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be very helpful. Thanks a ton. There he is. Jim has risen. Oh, huh, this soy plant is actually done. I'm gonna harvest this real quick. 
And let's see. We got six soybeans from this. We can actually eat these or plant these ourselves. And you know what? Let's go plant these. If we could get into gardening, we could probably make a nice amount of money. So I'm going to go ahead and actually plant these over here. There we go, a nice row. And now plant these. One hour later. Perfect, all of them are planted. And now we have to water all of them. And these are gonna grow into soybeans that we can go ahead and harvest and sell or eat for infinite food. Okay, so Jim is struggling really bad right now. There is this house over here that I found and technically they're our neighbors. So why not go ahead and introduce ourselves here? Now here's the plan. I'm gonna go knock on their door, ask them to let me in. I'm just gonna use all of their utilities and whatnot. Cause you're supposed to care for each other, you know? Even if they're just strangers that you let in your house for no reason. Okay, let's see, they have a nice kitchen upstairs a very nice bathroom and a very comfortable looking bed all right first of all you need to take a piss all right great he does not know i'm in here <laughs> all right step one complete i'm sure they wouldn't mind me sleeping for a bit right oh yeah no definitely not they're just chilling down here jim is definitely enjoying this lifestyle though this is a really big house actually they have an entire laboratory up here now so i actually remember that i'm able to steal stuff because i got that kleptomaniac trait but the kleptomaniac trait is actually based off of your mischief skill which i haven't unlocked yet but the more that mischief skill goes up the more valuable stuff we can steal like this bust over here and i'm sure this is going to be worth a lot of money so maybe it's a nice I need to visit my neighbors more often. Who knows? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're finding out what I've been doing in their house. That's bad. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we gotta stop. Are you calling the police? Okay, we gotta get out of here. Let's see how our plants are doing, actually. They're doing all right. Could be better. Could be worse. This plant is actually already ready, so we can go ahead and harvest it. And six more plants. Let's just put those right next to each other. And plant them all. Two hours later i also got some soy wax here a cube of wax made from soybean perfect for making vegan candles you can actually sell this for 16 simoleons however if i learned how to make vegan candles maybe i could sell them for even more all right so i actually have an idea now on how we can make some nice money i'm not sure how we're gonna make those but the moment i find out how to do it we're gonna be rolling in the cash so jim it's time to stop watching your adventures of spaceship simulation and crying about it and it's time to go dumpster diving for some more things that we can use to sell and oh i found a new dumpster that we haven't explored yet. Maybe we'll find some other good stuff in here. Found the iron counter. Oh, the golden Yamachan Timmy. We found a questionable condition wooden desk. Found robot salvage parts. Found some recycled materials. And oh my goodness, it might just start from hunger. Oh, let's go back home. We can harvest these soybeans again. We could collect some more soy bags from this one. Collect this soy wax and also harvest the soybean. And there we go. We got three soy wax right now and 13 soybeans let's go ahead and plant these real quick we reached level two of gardening let's also water all of these and looks like my plants are doing great all right so i decided to go back here because i wanted to go dumpster diving it looks like someone already decided that they wanted to go in this dumpster this is my dumpster leave right now on the pillow for deep thought some recycled material oh my god did i not tell you to go away you're stealing my goods leave i wonder what this is we can recycle stuff from our inventory oh and we can only recycle these worn out items that we have no use for here, let's try that. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, no. We'll let him sleep for a bit. Now, if we hover over this, we can actually see how many bits and pieces we have that we can use to craft certain things. I'm sure that's going to come in handy eventually, but I do think it's a good idea to recycle most of these items on my lot that I have no use for. But for now, we need to go into build mode and check out candle making. And let's see, we got the Von Wick & Co. candle making table for 550 simoleons. I'm exactly 545 away from that, but we do have these pieces of furniture over here that we can use to sell for more money. Now, the sink isn't going to be enough unfortunately and the tv is way too cool it's it's gonna be more than enough but it's way too cool to just sell i want to keep this tv so unfortunately it's gonna come down to my beautiful painting blue for the blues wall painting bye bye buddy now don't worry we can always buy him back but for now thanks to a sacrifice we're able to buy the von wick and co candle making table so let's check it out there we go beautiful and let's try it out right away let's see what this is all about so we can interact with it we can purchase ingredients here okay so we can purchase dyes but they're kind of expensive it seems and we can also buy soy wax Ooh. well first of all let's try making a candle so it looks like we can make a regular dip candle with one single wax block and some scraps and parts and whatever and it looks like we can make a brick dipped candle as well because i have a brick red dye for some reason so let's just do that there we go this is jim's first candle ever
And oh, there we go. Okay. Jim finished making a dip candle. It can be found in his inventory. Okay, let's see. Let's check our inventory. And there we go. Quality exceptional. Jim, you might just have a talent for this. I'm not gonna lie. And it sells for 25 simoleons. All right. So if you can keep it up and make a giant soy plant farm, get random dyes and furniture from dumpsters, and savage these dirty, worn down furniture pieces for scraps and parts, then I think we're bound to make some serious money off of this. So we don't actually have enough bits and pieces to make another candle. So let's go ahead and put all of this furniture back into the inventory. And head on over to the recycler. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and recycle all of this dirty furniture that we have no use for right now. Look at him, he's already a professional. And there we go. A perfect cube of whatever. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of bits now, but we don't actually have as many pieces. I'm not sure how to get pieces actually, but it looks like it's like a banana peel icon, which makes me think that we need to recycle some food and plant waste and whatnot. Luckily, I do have these four old sack lunches filled with spoiled fries. So let's see if we can get some pieces out of that. There we go. And yeah, wow, look at that, 140 pieces. Okay, so we're basically rich in bits and pieces now. All we need is to get a whole bunch of soy wax. And then we can start really working on getting a lot of money. And there we go, we can make some more candles. We can only make regular dipped candles. We don't have any dye, unfortunately. But I want to see how much a regular dipped candle sells for and if it's even worth grinding for dye. He's really putting his back into it. Look at him go. And there we go, he seems pretty proud of his work. Wow, but let's see how good he really did. Exceptional quality. And it sells for just as much as a regular dyed candle, which means we don't even need the dye really we can just go ahead and sell these boom we got 50 simoleons already so i'm just gonna use the rest of the soy wax i have left and create some candles and there we go two dipped candles so we've already made 100 simoleons off of just these four candles and the best part is these guys keep on growing and growing all we have to do is be a bit patient and we'll have infinite soy wax but for now we'll have to stick with the soy plants that grew up in the well because they're already fully grown so let's get the soybeans off of this one get the soybeans and soy wax off of this one and this one right here for a whopping 18 soybeans well i say we tidy our garden up a little more and put all of our plants up in a row and then we just plant the rest of these There we go! These plants even grew as we were planting the other ones. And we even reached gardening level 3. We also have the pillow for deep thoughts that we can still place down. And the kitty tunes radio. Oh, it's so cute! But it's also broken. And I do not want to have another incident where Jim electrocutes himself. But for now, I'm just gonna put it away and let it look over our garden. So in the meantime, waiting for these plants to grow, I say we go ahead and go dumpster diving, see what we can find. Cue the epic dumpster diving montage or something. Go! A full wood jacket bike? And we are back. Okay. So update on our plants. Ooh, ooh, they're slowly growing as we speak. But we'll let them do their thing because all of these plants have soybeans on them. And they have a lot of soybeans. I think they have like five soybeans each. We're going to harvest them all and see just how many soybeans we really get. There we go. Which gets us to a total of 99 plus soybeans. <laughs> okay, well, looks like me and Jim have quite a lot of work to do, so... I'll see you guys in a bit. And there we go. Two more rows of soy plant to help expand our soy plant collection. <laughs> this took way too long. The good news is though, we've reached gardening level 4 on our way to level 5, which means we now have the ability to talk to our plant, which increases our social stat without having to talk to other people, which means Jim doesn't need anyone else to survive now. He just needs his plants and his candles. Some more good news is that some of these plants have already regrown their soybeans and soy wax, which means I'm gonna have to spend another 10 minutes trying to collect all of these. Oh, the things I do for you guys. All right, I'll be right back. And we're back. The result of me harvesting all of these is 42 soy wax cubes and at least 200 more soybeans. Now I really don't feel like spending another 30 minutes trying to plant all these soybeans so I'm just gonna leave it for another time.
this right here is at least over 200 soy plants. Now it looks very messy, as in some of these aren't even grown yet, but it'll do the job. And while trying to grow all of these, some of them unfortunately died, while others grew even more soybeans and soy wax. And this got Jim's gardening level up to level 7. So good job, Jim. You really outdid yourself today. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no, my game crashed. Oh, that means I gotta redo everything I just did. No! Well, here it is. Our new and improved soy plant bar. Look at these perfect rows. These are nine rows, each having 60 plants on them, which means there's a total of 540 plants all lined up here. And this right here is the mastermind behind it all. Now, thanks to all of these plants, Jim has reached level eight of gardening, which means he's able to supercell all of the plants in a wide area. And as you can see, if I were to supercell this wide area, it'll all add up to 2,405 simoleons. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not that much, right? Well, my friends, all of these plants still produce 540 soy wax per harvest, which Jim can use to create a whole bunch of candles. And I say we harvest all of it to see just how much we can really get out of all of these plants. So give me just a second, this might take a while. So after an hour and a half of letting Jim do whatever he wants in his garden, we managed to get 620 soy wax cubes and a little over 10,000 soybeans, which equates to around 31,000 simoleons. Needless to say, I think this soybean farm was the right choice for us. But I say why stop at soy cubes when we can still turn them into candles? And that's exactly what we're gonna do. No, 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 you come back here. There we go, we got a true professional at work right here. Okay, so after making candles for quite a while, we've reached fabrication level 3, which lets us create these cylindrical molded candles. Now, I'm not sure if they sell for more, but let's find out. Got our cylindrical molded candle, and it looks like it sells for 35 simoleons, which is a whopping 10 more simoleons. It's a pretty small improvement, but if it means making us more money, then I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them. Oh, right, I completely forgot about bits and pieces. Well, that leaves us with 20 regular dipped candles and 3 cylindrical molded candles. Let's see how much that gives us when we sell it. 105 simoleons for the cylindrical candle and 500 simoleons for the regular but that's not all because if we go ahead and sell all of our soybeans we still have a whopping 31,778 simoleons here we go boom <laughs> we are a little bit over one tenth of the way of completing our milestone thanks to our beautiful farm that we've created here now that we have all of this money i think it's about time to start making our house but we don't have any furniture so i think it's time to resort to the one thing we're good at and that's you guessed it dumpster diving There we go, basically all of our furniture exclusively from dumpsters all cleaned up and ready to be placed in our new home. I say we get started right away. Now here's the layout of our house. I know what you're thinking, but you just gotta trust the process. Since we're living around some containers and that house over there is also made out of a container, I decided it would be pretty cool if I could do the same. So I came up with this slightly phallic exterior that should do the job just fine. So first things first, let's give this place some color. I was thinking dark red for the bottom, a yellow for the top, and I won't lie, it looks pretty nice already. Next up, I want to add some fencing around the second floor so we don't fall off, and I think this fencing looks quite nice. Let's add that to both sides real quick. And as for the floor here, I was thinking a grassy green to really show off the love we have for our soy plants. And there we go, that's the outside complete. And now here comes the very fun part. I made this little room back here specifically for the bathroom. And this long hallway is going to be for the living room and the kitchen combined. So let's check out our household inventory. I get to work.
Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please do consider subscribing and liking the video to help me push out more content for all of you. After all, we have a lot more money and candles to make, and I have an idea on how we can do that even more efficiently next time. But until then, bye bye!